Hey guys, it's Ellen Brock, freelance editor. We've been talking about structure all week, and even though we've already covered the climax and the second plot point, I saved the pinch points for last. I did this primarily because they are minor plot points rather than major plot points, and also because they occur at two different points in the novel. So you have two pinch points in the novel. One is in the middle of the second quarter, and one is in the middle of the third quarter. I've had a lot of people ask how can you tell what should happen between the first plot point and the midpoint or between the midpoint and the second plot point and the pinch points can really help to give you more direction. They occur in the middle of the second and third quarters so you can kind of plan how you're going to get from the, from the first plot point to the pinch point to the midpoint to the next pinch point to the second plot point. So inserting the pinch points plotting the novel with the pinch points in mind or editing the, the novel with the pinch points in mind can help you to have a better sense of how you're going to move through the story. So what is the purpose of the pinch points? The pinch points are intended to raise tension by reminding the reader of what's at stake. So the pinch points are usually something that occurs that indicates what the character has to lose or indicates the power of the antagonistic force. So it's normally something negative that happens that either raises the stakes or reminds the reader of what's at stake. So the reason you want pinch points in your novel is because it's easy for the reader to lose touch with what's at stake. Often, because of novel structure, it's typical that the stakes will be introduced early on and then might not be relevant for a long period of time. They may not be relevant from sort of the first quarter to the fourth quarter, and it leaves the middle two quarters often with limited or no reminders of what is at stake. So there are lots of different ways that the pinch points could be used to demonstrate what's at stake. I'm going to give a quick example of a plot just so you can get a better idea of how these pinch points might work. So say you have a story where the protagonist's child is abducted in the first quarter and through the second and third quarter they're trying to save their child and then in the fourth quarter they successfully get to the climax, save their child, end of the story. The problem is with the child being absent from the first quarter to the fourth quarter, you have only the investigation. It can be difficult for the reader to keep in touch with what the character, what the protagonist has to lose. So the pinch points function to remind the reader this character has this child that they could lose and this is a really scary situation. So it ratchets up the tension. So in this particular story, maybe at one of the pinch points, the protagonist gets a phone call from the antagonistic force who kidnapped their child and the antagonist says instead of a million dollars now we want ten million dollars and in the background he can hear the daughter crying and they say if you don't get it to me by Friday I'm going to kill your child. All of a sudden now the tension has dramatically increased. There was already a lot of tension his child was kidnapped but there was a period where the child was kidnapped he was he was going through an investigation or he was trying to solve the problem and there is a disconnect between what he has at stake and what he's doing. So this reminds the reader this child exists, this child is real, the child's life is at stake and now there's even more pressure on the protagonist to solve the problem. So the pinch point doesn't necessarily have to be that dramatic, it can be a lot simpler. In some novels the pinch point might even be as simple as a flashback or the character remembering something that reminds the reader of what's at stake. So again, this is where the reader is more important than the character in terms of that tension and ratcheting up the tension. Your protagonist feels the tension regardless, but what you want is to get the reader to feel that tension. So because the focus is on the reader, that reveal at the pinch point or what occurs at the pinch point could be a reveal that isn't necessarily new information to the protagonist and it may not even really be new information to the reader but it's a reminder of what is at stake. So in film or if you have a book with multiple perspectives that might even just be simply showing a scene of the child while the child is being kidnapped. It might not necessarily focus on the protagonist at all, but this is, depends a lot on the type of book you're writing and how you've structured the novel. 
So the key to writing a great pinch point is that it needs to remind the reader of what's at stake or it needs to increase the stakes or increase the tension. So I hope this video gave you a better idea of what happens with the pinch points and how you might use them in your novel. Next week I'm going to talk about scene structure and I really hope that you will come back for that because it will really help with plotting and pacing. The scene structure is so important and it's not talked about enough. So I really hope that you come back next week and please subscribe and like and share the videos. It really helps me out. Have a great weekend, guys.